love the sweater. But guys, we recently, don't mind these, but we recently um, swept and mopped our garage. I know I haven't talked yet this entire video, but I thought I'd say that because I'm very proud of how our garage is looking. We just moved here. Um, how long have we been living here? I think eight months. I'm not sure. Not too long, too long. So, um, it hasn't been too messy yet. <laughs> it hasn't been too messy, so... Um, yeah, I'm trying to find where I want to put you guys. This, oh, I have pants that need to be, um, put away. Chop it off again. Oh, everyone's showered. And babe gets home at 10:30. So I'm gonna be eating dinner alone. Oh my god! But guys, I'm going to be making red lobster cheddar biscuits today. So that's very exciting. Even though I don't seem excited, this is gonna be exciting. Okay. Bye.
to just season with sazon, adobo, pepper, garlic, and cayenne pepper. Um, I'll probably also add some parsley, some parsley flakes. And we're just going to grill this meat. Um, I decided to season in the pan because um, on the cutting board it would have been really difficult to mix it up. So I think it's going to be easier to do it in the pan. Alright. Some cayenne pepper. I don't know why. This one, like... We used to have another brand of cayenne pepper. And this one comes out so, like... Like, you have to... It's like too much products come, trying to come up, trying to come out at once, and the holes are really small. So, you saw that smoke? A little bit of pepper. We don't want it too spicy. Now I'm just mix, 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 and spread them back out so they can kind of all cook evenly I just cut them into weird little shapes kind of like tenderloins um, they were two huge chicken breasts and you just slice them down the middle all right there you go. all right I'm going to put my seasonings back and get some butter start cooking this chicken because this is going to take longer than the noodles i love to cook like pasta because child for me it seems quicker than cooking like rice and stuff like that it's an easier meal to cook I'm just gonna grab a spoon. I'll do like two tablespoons. Two tablespoons. I did just wash my hands. And then we're gonna cover it. Two and a half. We're gonna cover it. And then it's gonna let us know when it needs to be flipped. I don't know how long I'm gonna cover it. I'm just gonna cover it and We'll see. Alright, so now we're going to come over here. Let that cook. I have that on, on like medium. Let's fill this up with water. Alright. Don't wanna you don't wanna fill up the whole pot because sis you don't need that much water. And you want to put a lot of salt. I know some people they put oil with their water so the noodles don't stick. So I'm not going to be doing that today. Gluten free. I don't eat gluten free foods, but y'all, this was the only one there in the Walmart aisle. I don't know what's going on, but every time we go to Walmart, they literally are like clean of pasta noodles so every time i see it, i try to grab because you know um and this is the only spaghetti noodles they had gluten free you could taste it a little bit but it's nothing too major where we won't eat it type of thing so i'm gonna wait till this boils actually to add my noodles and this is already starting to sizzle so I'm going to just grab a spoon like this and start mixing so that salt can just, um, so the salt can, what is that called? Dissolve. So the salt can dissolve. So yeah, today's been a pretty chill day. Um, did some laundry, I vacuumed, everybody showered. Um, my boyfriend's working a late shift today till 10 30 p.m. So I didn't want to wait You know until he was there just because again, it's gonna be a late shift 
Okay, so I'm gonna let I'm gonna let the camera charge a bit and let the chicken cook up a little bit and I'll film when it's time to flip and stuff. Oh, also I need to prep these biscuits. So let's prep the biscuits. Scratch everything I just said. Let's um prep these biscuits. Okay, so I picked these up. Never in my lifetime I made biscuits. So there's a first time for everything. Hold on. There is a first time for everything, and why not try to make some biscuits? What's stopping me? Like, am I waiting for someone to say, hey, let me teach you how to make biscuits? So we're just gonna try, why not? Um, another thing that I recently tried is learning how to cut pineapple. I love the fruit, but I stay away from it because just like everybody, I don't know how to cut it. So I just YouTube a video, boom, and you learn. So. There's instructions. Should it be that hard? Hopefully not that hard. And I don't know why my camera keeps not focusing on me. Hello? 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 Okay. Let's do this. You need three to four cups of cold water. Cold water. Why do you need cold water? Why not warm? Listen, I'm not going to ask any questions. Just going to do it. Half cup shredded sharp cheddar cheese and that's crazy because I didn't look at this box I didn't look at this box of what I needed but thank God we got shredded cheese because maybe if we's in it that would have been bad but that's all right because we have um and then a fourth cup of butter I barely got any butter left so I might need some more who knows okay let's make some biscuits it's really intimidating because they're like you need to do not over mix don't over mix certain things scoop dough immediately that's a little like oh okay the chicken is looking like it needs to be like it needs to be flipped that like white stuff for me that's the butter but try not to get too close yeah so i'm gonna go flip that and the water's not doing anything yet i hope you forgot to turn it on so it's turned on now and i'm waiting for it to boil and um i'm gonna let you guys charge because my camera needs to charge so I'm gonna let my camera charge and we're gonna start with the red lobster biscuit okay so I did go ahead and watch a few YouTube videos by a few I mean one and they're so mean in the comments they're like the box clearly has instructions why are you making a whole YouTube video based on it and the lady didn't speak in the video or anything like she just showed what to do and a lot of people were like oh my god thank but oh my god it was just it was just a little hurtful to see like such rude comments on literally her just not even speaking just doing you know the instructions because people have a hard time understanding like me so you can't over stir your biscuits because then they won't be fluffy and they'll be runny you don't want the batter to be runny and they'll kind of look like pancakes so that's why you have to do that i learned that you see the video was helpful oh my god i want to comment back but I have more better things to do with my life anyways and then um yeah so i don't have parchment paper and i googled it and it said just use um just oil the pan that you're using so i'm gonna use some freaking co cooking oil and oil the pan because i have butter but i need that butter for this recipe um the the butter is just really for the recipe at the end so just drizzle it on with the um garlic herbs provided by the box so let's get to it hopefully they come out good people said to not listen to the box and to put 400 degrees um preheat your oven to 400 and not 425 because they did burn it so i'm gonna go ahead and do 400 because i'm not trying to burn these suckers okay bye okay um so i just did i have three fourth cup of water i did the half cup of shredded cheese like they recommended and I'm just mixing the dough with the shredded cheese. Um, people were saying in the comments that they put um, 
the amount of water that was recommended but it came out too runny so I'm gonna add a little bit of water at a time and see if that helps um, but it says not to like stir it too much the chicken's done I'm just waiting for the noodles to be done and then I'll drain it um, so that's why I'm trying to not focus too much on this because I have other things to worry about and it has like bumps in the dough and I'm, I'm trying not to like break the clumps up another person said to add she said that she uses heavy whipping cream instead of water and it comes up chef's kiss so maybe next time i could try that so i'm just gonna be using a bottle of freaking alfredo because i'm really not trying to make it homemade and yeah i'm gonna add some parmesan sprinkle parmesan on it maybe it'll make it more cheesier The food came out absolutely amazing. The biscuit was a little undercooked in the middle. I did put the other biscuits back in the oven and I just continued to eat that one because it was pretty good for me to eat. The Alfredo and chicken of course came out amazing. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you guys so much for watching if you made it to the end. I truly appreciate you. And if not, that's all right. Um, I really appreciate all the support. And I hope you guys are enjoying. Sorry, my baby's in the background. But I hope you guys are enjoying my videos that I'm putting out. Thank you so much for your support. Make sure to like, comment, share, subscribe. And I will see you guys next week. Thank you guys so much.